morning, dear friends. I'm so glad to meet with you through this uh, video as we meditate a few minutes from the Word of God, which will be our spiritual manna that you will have today. And may the Lord bless you in having a good understanding of God's plan. What qualify you to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? Jesus himself gave us that qualification in the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 8, verse 34. I read for it for you. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now for any job or a position which gives you a comfortable and de decent living, you need a certificate of qualification from a university which you receive after sitting in the classroom and learning and sitting for an examination and then you get a certificate telling you that you are qualified to find a job that requires this particular study or knowledge. But to prepare yourself to live and reign with Jesus eternally and enjoy eternally, one needs to go through a different kind of learning. Jesus Christ has told us in unmistakable term our qualification in this gospel of Mark chapter 8 verse 34. Now he says take up your cross after denying yourself. The cross is what? It is a symbol of uh, suffering, shame, ridicule, rejection, self-denial, and ultimately death. And this is made very clear in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 39 and Hebrew chapter 12 verse 2. And Matthew chapter 27 verse 39 and 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 4 and Matthew chapter 16 verse 24. I am sure as you listen to this you will see these references on the screen. Please take it down and um, read this soon after you have heard this. Now, eternity is desirable. That's what we all want. We all want eternal life, not eternal hell. Like Moses, those of us who are willing to give up and deny the pleasures and luxuries of this world and uh, follow Christ and carrying our cross, we are committing ourselves to four areas of struggles and suffering. And I want to mention these four areas of suffering. If you want an eternity to live with your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is very necessary that you understand the fact that when you become a follower of Jesus Christ, a disciple of Christ, you are actually entering into a battlefield in this life. So the number one thing I want to mention is this. 
the suffering and the struggles that we have to go through. Number one, we suffer in lifelong struggle against sin. This we read in Romans chapter 6, the whole chapter you read. And then 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 1 and 2. By crucifying our own sinful desires. As Paul said in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Where he said I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ lives in me. Now that is a true Christian. A Chris, true Christian is the one who himself does not live. But you accept a death to yourself and then allow Jesus Christ to come in and live his life in you. As someone has said, Jesus Christ has no plan of helping you to improve yourself and, 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 and better yourself, etc. He has only one plan, and that plan is to kill you. And then let me ask you, what is he going to do after killing me? He has a great plan, and replace you with himself. And I hope that you will understand what. That is the first thing. Remember, it is a lifelong, or your life here on earth involves this suffering. And number two, we struggle in a war against Satan and the powers of darkness as we advance the kingdom of God, as we are involved in uh, uh, spreading uh, the kingdom of God and bringing more and more people into the kingdom of God. That is uh, the purpose of our life. And as we are engaged in this, remember, we struggle in a war against Satan. Because Satan does not like to lose any soul from his grip. And our business is to bring soul, snatch soul from his grip and to bring them into the hand of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 and 5 and then Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 and 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. That is the second struggle. You know the first struggle is with ourselves against sin and all that. And the second struggle is with Satan. And thirdly, we suffer the hatred and ridicule of the world. The gospel according to St. John chapter 15, verses 18 to 25, I encourage you to read this passage very clearly and see what Jesus is saying in this wonderful passage. Then also Hebrews chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. We suffer because we separate ourselves from the world morally and spiritually, which, by which the worldly people think that we are some very peculiar type of people because we don't uh, go along with them in their uh, way of doing things. And the places they visit, we don't go along with them. And they wonder what's wrong with us. And so we are ridiculed. And they don't like our behavior. Because our behavior shows that we are different. So in that way, we suffer hatred and ridicule of the world. Are you prepared? 
And fourthly, like Jesus, we suffer ridicule and persecution from the religious world. Mark chapter 8, verse 31. And this is in several places in the New Testament, uh, this subject is dealt with. And so if we desire to spend eternity and reign with Jesus, not so simply living, but reign. We are, uh, we are supposed to reign and rule with him eternally. And if we want to have uh, such pleasures in, 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 in heaven, in eternity, along with Jesus Christ, in this short life, we must be prepared to go through these four kinds of suffering. It is Jesus Christ already told us, you know what, what once Peter asked, Master, we left everything to follow you, what will we get? And he said, you know, you will be given the privilege of judging the 12 tribes of Israel and you will have a such a blessing, whatever you deny in this world, you will be returned a hundredfold. And then he said, along with persecution, eternal life. So persecution and opposition is a promise of God, along with the promise of eternal life. And one must be prepared to go through. Are you prepared? Are you willing to accept this kind of saying of Jesus also? We all love to, to read about the soft sayings of Jesus. But then Jesus also has some hard saying. And he is not a God who changes and compromises. He will not. And if we are ready and prepared, then we can look forward to a life with him and reign with him. Hallelujah. What a privilege. It is all worth. And when we are with Jesus and when we see Jesus and when we see all the uh, things that he has prepared for us, huh, we will say it was all worth denying everything and suffering for Christ. This is the joy. And may the Lord bless you as you give yourself to following Jesus, though it may cost much in this life, but it is worth. What you give up, what you deny, is nothing compared to what you gain in the Lord Jesus Christ. So choose today how you want to live. God bless you. And I pray that the blessed Holy Spirit will enable you to see the glory that is to be revealed in you. Like the Apostle Paul, he said, when I consider and remember the glory that is to be revealed in me, I consider the present suffering as nothing. So when you suffer, Always remember the glory that is to be revealed. Suffering will pass away, but the glory will not pass away. Thank you, Lord. May our eyes be open to see this truth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day today. Today is a day that you can glorify God. Make your choice to follow him. Amen. God bless you.